Okay, um, I've now got the bespoke VCM gauge installed, and that's basically a VCM gauge in an OBD2 case. It hasn't got any buttons or anything, uh, and it's just set to display every parameter that the VCM the VCM interceptor can uh, get from the uh, BAT SCI data line. So we've got volts, state of charge, current, uh, power in kilowatts, high temperature, lowest temperature. Uh, flag bike there s40 and then underneath that we've got the two full um, relevant parts of the data packets so i can just see what's happening with those i've got a logging output in the side here so i can log uh, and it's constantly logging um, if obviously i plug in the pickaxe lead i can log straight to me spreadsheet so that's basically there because that this is the only piece of this is the only device which is going to tell me the actual voltage of the pack because all the other voltages in the car are faked to allow the system to work within the range that I want it to. So this voltage here, this is the uh, BCM voltage tap detected uh, voltage and this is the BCM detected voltage. Once it goes into the BCM interceptor uh, I get the voltage and send it to the uh, BCM gauge but then I fake it to 150 volts to send it onwards to the MCM. So if we go across to the OBD2 CNC you'll see that the top part one which is the MCM HV input is faked at 150 then we've got the V pin input MDV that's faked at 150 and the state of charge at the moment is faked at 75% uh, I haven't got the um, state of charge gauge on the dash um, displaying battery level what I, what I actually wanted to do is to display super cap level so I wanted to go up and down um, pretty quickly as you deplete it so basically it's going to go up and down very quickly I may drive that directly using the BCM interceptor I think that's probably going to be easiest so as you can see the actual voltage uh, indicated by the BCM gauge of the super cap pack is 176 volts the absolute maximum is 190 and the absolute minimum is 110 now just to confirm that while I've been testing I've also got a multimeter here and uh, you can see it's about half a volt lower the actual voltage according to my multimeter than the BCM gauge reported voltage which is fine I'd rather have this reading high because this is this voltage here is the voltage that the decisions are made on based on when to stop the system when to stop regen I've sorted out those flags now so um, in the back we have the BCS BCM interceptor and that's basically making decisions on whether to stop assistant regen based on this voltage that you can see here. So on the steering wheel that's the IMA CNC plug and play joystick, car's turned on and uh, I'll start it up. So the BCM gauge restarts when you start it up so now we can see it's ticking away there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some regen on. So I'll put some regen on, and uh, you can see I've got four amps of uh, about four amps of regen there. If we look on the uh, BCM gauge, you'll see that it's about the same. And the voltage will slowly start to climb. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put more regen on. I'm going to rev the car up while we're watching this parameter. So I'm going to put 20 amps of regen on. And what we'll find is when it gets up to about 184, 185 volts, the regen, the regen will automatically stop. And you can see it's cutting back now. Regen's falling away. That's not to do with me. That's to do with the interceptor saying, oh, and that's enough's enough. Um, cut back the regen. So I've got it stopping basically regen at about 185 volts. So you've got a five volt um, margin of error there. Plus this reads very slightly high, so it's perhaps about 140, 184.5 volts when regen cuts back. There we go. I can disable the regen. So if I was to drain the pack down even slightly, I would still be able to regen again, which is good. Now if I go the other way, I'm going to use some assist. So I'm putting some assist on. I put 20 amps of assist on, and you can see the super cap voltage, and that'll start to fall away. Now remember the minimum, this is 20 amp of assist, so the minimum it can go down to is um, 110 volts, but the cutoff is about 120 if I remember correctly, to give myself a little bit of safety at the bottom end. I might push that envelope a bit more later on. So you can see it's quite happily going to sit there. Now obviously when you, when you sit there with assist driving the motor 
when you're stationary, it will trigger a check engine light because it thinks there's something going um, wrong with the uh, tick over mechanism. So you get a check engine light, but I'll clear that in a second. I don't normally, you wouldn't normally sit here with assist turning the engine over like this. This is just to demonstrate. So we're chugging away. So I think actually I'm going to um, let it continue. And obviously as the voltage falls away, the power falls away as well. Went down and down. So you can see, I don't know how long we've been going now, but I'll check the timing of this video um, shortly. But this gives you an indication of how long the super caps can supply um, a, this amount of current. And you can see the kilowatt um, figure here. So it's giving us about two and a half kilowatts of assist. I'm not sure, I haven't checked those figures yet, but um, 132 times 18.5, does that sound about right? And that's obviously the uh, kilowatts. So the voltage is falling away. Now the assist will cut back shortly as the capacitors are exhausted. Getting down, down, down. There we are. And that's assist finished. So it fades away now. And obviously it's a, so there's about 10 volt um, headroom at the bottom, so I possibly could squeeze that a little bit lower. So the assist falls away. And um, what I need now to do is I need it to automatically start a, um, a charge cycle so that it actually starts to add a little bit back to the, back to the system. And I probably need to give a little bit of hysteresis in there, a little bit of, win a little bit of window, so you can see the assist has gone off now and it's started its own sort of regen um, mode just to boost the voltage up. So we're getting the sort of behaviour that I want. I can possibly push the envelope a little bit more at the lower voltage, squeeze another 5 volts out. But you can see the duration there that we had for the assist. And uh, I'm going out on a test drive of about 60 miles shortly. I've got to go to York. There's a couple of hills there, but we'll see how it um, behaves. I'll just disable this now. So what I want it to do now is when it gets down to these voltages or when it gets down to below, say, 150 volts or whatever, I want it to actually um, start uh, regening on its own without having to be commanded so that it tries to keep the capacitors up to um, a fairly high level. Now the state of charge gauge has actually gone down to one bar which is what I've got it set to when the caps are exhausted but I still haven't got that working uh, correctly but, so that'll be only a um, fairly minor change to the software I'm sure to get that sorted out. So that's where we are and there's the two gauges on the dashboard and I shall upload this and hopefully make some progress later on today. Thanks for watching.